Another decision that management may come upon is the decision whether to make or buy a product or component, or in other words, saying outsourcing. This is deciding whether to produce an item in-house, I produce it myself, or purchase it from an outside supplier, somebody third party making it for me. The decision should be based on comparing the cost of purchasing the item to the incremental cost of making the item, incremental being the difference of. Some relative costs that you need to keep in mind when you're making this decision. First is obviously the price that we would have to pay in order to buy the component from a third party. Another one is any avoidable costs we would incur to make the component ourselves. And finally, we want to keep up with the opportunity cost. Again, the benefit of choosing one over the other that may occur uh, in this, the freed space uh, from the production of the item that is uh, generating the benefit. Qualitative issues that we have to keep up with, again, we want to look at the qualitative side, is one, the relative net advantage given uncertainty of estimates. Two, I want to look at the reliability and the number of sources of supplies uh, or suppliers. This one is kind of at the, the mercy of the supplier. If they can't produce what I need, then I'm taking a hit. If I'm doing it at my at in-house, I'm doing it myself, then obviously I can control that a little bit better. Third, the ability to assure quality. If I'm doing it myself, I can make sure I have quality control implemented. If somebody else is doing it, I don't have con complete control over that. And then finally, the future bargaining position of the suppliers. If I fully rely on a supplier to produce this product or this component of a product, then they start to have leverage on top of me to be able to negotiate higher prices in the future. So I want to be careful of that as well. So let's look at an example. Assuming, assume a company produces tables, and since the beginning, the company's always made the legs for their tables. The company's cost for a set of legs are as follows. Direct material, $15 per set. Direct labor, $10 per set. Variable overhead, $8 per set. And fixed overhead, $10 per set. Of the fixed overhead, 50% is related to the facilities cost. A supplier has approached the company and offered to make their legs for $40 per set of legs. Should the company decide to make or buy the 2,000 sets of legs that they need for the period? Now let's look at this. So we have the decision to either make or buy. So those are the two decisions that we're making. Buy is super easy because they're offering this to us. So buy is going to be $40. Now we have to calculate the make side of it. If we're going to make this in-house, what is it going to cost me? So first, obviously, we're going to look at direct material, $15. We're going to add in the direct labor of $10. We're going to add in the variable overhead of $8. And we're going to add in the $10 fixed overhead. And this is at first glance. So at first glance, we're looking at this and looking at it as it's cost us $53 per unit. Obviously, if it costs us $53 per unit to make and they're offering to do it $40 per unit, then this would be the better option is we're going to buy it because it's cheaper. However, that's not the whole story. Because of this one piece right here, it says, or excuse me, we're going to keep moving. So let's only look at the relevant side. So the direct material, $15 moves over, $10 moves over, because that doesn't change. It, it, obviously, that's something that's going to, uh, I can avoid if I decide to buy it versus make it. The $8 I can avoid, so that's relevant. But the fixed cost is a little different because of this one statement right here. It says, of the fixed overhead, 50% is related to the facilities cost, which means 50%, no matter what, I have to pay. It's unavoidable. So I can get rid of that 50%, leaving only the 50% that's avoidable. So 50% of $10 is going to be $5. So that's all I care about when I'm making this decision. So if I add that up, that's going to show me that the total cost of me making it is $38 per unit, which means that the better decision for me in this situation is to make it myself because it's going to save me $2 per unit.